Hey, what's happening YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, I've got to do the Grand Archives, but first, I want you to come here. Get your mimic head on. Gold, serpent ring, shield of want. Don't need any weapons. Run up here. You only take one shot each. That twat first. And him. And so that it doesn't fall off the cliff. Just smack him with a firebomb. You're looking for him to drop. That. If you remember, we got that right back at the beginning. You'll see why. As you know, if you've done Grand Archives, the minute you walk in through the door, a crystal sage appears. And it's a pain in the ass. Uh, let me think. Yeah, he's a pain in the ass. Because he'll fire a crystal hail at you all the way through. You can use toxic mist and poison mist as well for this, but I find this is easier. I will fast forward this bit because it's quite. You just stand and poison them basically. What I'll do is once I get the first hit into him, you'll see his health come down. I'll just speed it up until he, he dies. And you get the crystal scroll. That's one of the main reasons we're here. Grand Archives got to be in two parts. I'm jumping from the Grand Archives over to Arch Dragon Peak. Right, so I've got the key. You've got to kill all the Lords of Cinder apart from the Twin Princes, obviously, to get the key. Just run. Just jump behind these tables. Just lock on them. Just pressure L2. And just watch them dying. It's, if you hit them, they'll start vanishing, walking all about the place, firing all this stuff, going boom, boom, boom. All the way through the archives until you kill them. If you don't physically attack them, doesn't work. You can use poison, well, I said you can use toxic mist and poison mist. But you need to get right in front of them to do it. Which then gives them an opportunity to do that. As soon as he sees you. This is easier. Time his health goes down, just keep topping him up. Right, now that annoying twat's dealt with, oh yeah, there's no changing. I'll pie them since I've got sources of rings on it. As I was saying, now that that annoying prick's done with, the Grand Archives now are a piece of pith. So we're going to go up and get a Titanite Lizard. Can't remember what it drops. First one down. And you can do two, like I said. Watch this little twat. Tiny chunk. Right, the one you want to go for is. Oh, Scholar's Candlestick. I was actually going to say, if you haven't picked up the Scholar's Candlestick from Grey Rat, that one there's the one that's got it.
He's the only one that actually casts magic, so. Ow. I think that's what. Have that. Yeah, he's the only one that casts magic, so. You're fine. Not a little rat bag running here. The archives are full of them little rats. Time for some more hidden body cheese. This knight is a pain in the backside. Catalyst we're going to use throughout the rest of the game. Crystal chain. You're going to want to uh, dunk your head in that wax bath. There's a lot of cuss hands about here that this prevents you from getting cussed. Go figure. The archives aren't that hard once that sage is gone. Unfortunately, the way that Tiger Knight Wizard does that, you need to keep on doing that because he smacked the side of the staircase. Come around here, pull this lever. That's the hands there I'm talking about. We're going to get a second Tiger Knight slab in here as well. Which is handy for my staff. That should be the witch's locks. That's that one there, one at a time. Power within. Oh, stay else. Ignore him for just now. Get this twat first. And then go back and get that one. That one tends to bushwhack you if you try to get in here first. Oh, you twat. This should last until we get back down and get our slab. Oh, yeah. Kill that little shit. Okay, with these two as well. There's your second bath. Normally, if the sage is still alive, it, you got these ladders and it's standing right above you. But all the way up these stairs, it's pelting crystal hair like you all the way around. Needless to say, that can be a bit of a pain in the backside. I'm just heading back down to get a slab. Oh yeah, there's also an Aratho Outrider in here, Garden Soul Stream. The bane of my existence, these Outriders. But we're not actually that far from into this episode as it goes. Just chuck on anything you can throw. Nice. You can be putting your silver cat ring on, ring on as well in a couple of seconds. But first, there's the wax head vanished. I find this bottom part, the first part of the archives, are the hardest. Go figure. You come down here, you little shit.
Thank you. I'm done. You can see the wax getting thrown. There's a scholar up there that's just spamming sorcery at me. That's what. Need you, mate. I can do that too, you know. Silver cat ring on. Because if you miss this roll off, it's an insta death. You can't just jump off it and you can uh, do that forward roll off it. Never mind. That there will get that in the way back round. I've never actually tried to jump across there. Okay, so that makes, makes sense, you can jump off of that. Never tried it before. I don't normally pick up that one, to be honest with you. I tend not to pick up things I don't need. But it is labelled 100% walk through. Not 99 in a bit. Now here's my worst nightmare coming up. Drop. I thought it was shining there. Now we're going to come up here. There's one more throw. Just ready to toss a firebomb at us. No. And then they're up. Oh. Our wax heads are running. Keep that topped up. Obvious reasons. I should want to get cussed. Yeah, the reason why we're doing uh, Grand Dark Eyes in two parts, you need to go back and buy all of the spells from Orbic, and that's in the first quest line. And you find these ashes up in the next level, give them to Uria. And she'll give you. Is it the Morn Blade? Morian Blade. No, 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 no. But he'll only. His ashes will appear as long as you kill another boss after buying all his spells. So come here, get the Crystal Scroll, do this part, jump back to the shrine, and go up to Arch Dragon Peak and kill the Nameless King. Make it sound so easy, don't I? I find this dude tears harder than the Nameless King. Basically all these souls we're getting we're going to be using to buy spells. It's a soul stream, the most useless sorcery in the game, as far as I'm concerned. It'd be okay if it wasn't so slow to cast. 
but other than that, it's a bit, yeah. Up this. If you're desperate for souls, go and kill him. There's no point, it doesn't drop anything. This will be the faith ring. Now we're heading back to the bonfire and back to the shrine. Halfway across the bridge, there's a titan light lizard that I always miss. And this is no exception. So this sounds a bit weird, it's because it's been, ow, been added in. It wasn't until after I killed the Nameless King I remembered. All that for a scale. You know where you are now. You just need to run back round again. Up this way. You're on a straight road back to the shortcut. Thank you. And you're back at the bonfire, more or less. I'll try and slice this in somewhere that it doesn't make it look too out of place. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope I'm forgiven for that little dirt. After we go up. I always do this bit first so I don't need to do it again when I come back. Just keep watching your head doesn't, your wax head doesn't run out. But you're in a whole world of trouble around here. As you can see, it stops you. Let's chop back on my soul ring. Got a moss for it. Magic, fire, light and dark. Okay, we have no moss for it. In that case, stick on that cuss bite ring. You just need hope for the best, basically. It's a titanite scale. It worked. So I'm a bit surprised, not. Not complaining, no. Now, when you come back here, you can just run straight past them. This is a shortcut back to the bonfire. This is a lift that you've got to go in. You can't just walk in and jump back out again, thinking it's going to trigger it underneath. It doesn't. Because I've got a trigger, a lever. But that's part one of the archives done. All we need to do now is do the rooftops. And then the stairs leading up to the Twin Princes. But we got a second tiny nice slab. We need to get back to the shrine to do this. In the next episode, we'll have to kill the Ancient Wyvern. And then after that, it'll be everyone's favourite, Nameless King.
Also, I was overweight there a little bit, all right. Right. Better. Focus. I will. Right, I'm going to play for his dialogue after I buy it. So that's our best quest line done. He is now available for the Twin Princess boss fight if you want him. It's not too bad actually. I took him in once. And he actually helped. I was considering a level up with this. Uh, yeah, a bit more achievement doesn't hurt anyone. Right, so for our dragon peak, crystal home and soul mass, crystal soul spear, and that. That's all you need. I've got an Estus shard. And that's the last Estus shard, that's it. You've got them all. Test a shot. Let me just double check. I'm not going to let it pick up, I know where it is. Right, Carla sits in there. Not got her yet. Grey Rat's gone, as you know. I'll get Carla and I'm going to do the Divine Tomes. Makes sense. Right, see you next Dragon Peak. Like and subscribe, all that good shit. Catch you later.